Hello and welcome back to Superstar Arcade and more Double Cross. In the last episode, we did Bone Crackle Canyon and submitted our case. We now have a rest warrant for Ripjaw, and we're going to his lair. Oh, we also were able to get V, the tentacle guy, into uh, Rift Academy. Ripjaw's lair. It took us a while to find it, but I'm finally here. It's great that you've learned about the map and found the smuggled weapons. Now we only need to arrest him. We'll put an end to his days of terrorizing Reptilia and figure out what he has to do with Suspect X. Be careful, he's big and dangerous. <laughs> I've already dealt with many Reptarians. What's one more? Actually, wait, 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 wait. I just realized we got new stuff and we should probably check it out. Fallen in the pits. Increase the attack of heavy damage. Recover more health when healing. Alright, so the stomp's a good move to know. Okay, so all that's good. What do I currently have equipped? Can't touch this. Honestly, I think replace this with this. Alright, awesome, good to go. Maybe getting rid of the hook thing was a bad idea. Oh yeah, that packs quite a kick now. Okay. Can I make it? Uh, okay, so that's how that works. Yeah, uh, okay. No, no, no. Hmm. Why? I hate those upwards conveyor belts. Sorry that I'm not talking a lot, I just... No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, just barely avoid that. Like every time it makes no sense like it makes no sense why you're jumping backwards And it's a real good thing that I have that take no damage when you fall to a pit thing otherwise we'd be dead There we go Oh yeah, those heavy attacks are doing quite a bit of damage now. Awesome. Alright. Wait. Ow. Um, no, no, no. I got, I got a thing on the back of my neck. Uh, come on. Okay. Checkpoint. You know like when you get like you get an itch but like you can't scratch it because you're doing something that just drives you insane? Yeah, basically that. Okay, now we just gotta hope I don't accidentally get stuck between that uh, wall again. Like what happened last time. I'm gonna deck you in the schnoz. That is still like one of my favorite things from, uh, uh, what is it, Team Four Star, I think.
Boom. So fighting them is getting a lot easier, mostly because you can just spam buttons. But, yeah. I'm very tired. Like, after, well, technically today's recording session, because it was at 1 in the morning, I, I tried to go to bed. I really did. And it just did not work. Like, no matter what I did, I could not get to sleep. So now it's like 1 in the afternoon, a very rare uh, day where I can actually record during the day. And here I am, super tired. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's starting to become a struggle to keep my eyes open. And checkpoint. Yeah, this is probably going to be the last episode I record for the day. Alright, there we go. Wow, that almost insta kills them. I, for some reason, 100, like in my delirium, 100% thought that was a coin and just jumped for it instead of grabbing it with the whip. Now I just really fell asleep. What's going on? Oh jeez, I, I can't even keep my head up. Oh shoot, how long was that there for? Right there, all right. Ugh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just falling asleep in my chair as I'm playing this. Don't worry, I will get through it. One way or another, we will prevail. Right there once again, like... Okay, that time Sarah just went jump. Once again, wooden jump, even though I clearly hit the jump button. Alright, I need a second. Alright, let's actually do this.
Never mind, we're going to be stuck here forever. Finally! And all it took was me waking up a bit. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I closed my eyes. Booyah. Point, you're going to just start seeing me play on autopilot and we'll wake up 12 hours later like what are you oh shoot we're already here you whoa he's huge you're the rift agent the boss told me about yes that's me I'm here to put an end to the violence your gang is spreading through through Ripteria Interesting words come from someone who has been attacking my loyal men. Ripjaw, you are the one who's been raiding and attacking innocent people. Weaklings, I'm protecting reptarians by making sure they're strong enough to survive in this wasteland. You are under arrest for smuggling weapons from other dimensions, which is illegal according to Rific regulation number three point. Curse Rift and curse you two. You think you can arrest me? Don't you understand? I said you're under arrest. Surrender or... Don't you understand? I'm going to eat you. Huh. Well, that's certainly one way to do it. Let me guess. He uh, charges at me and then I use this to get behind him. What? There's no, there's absolutely no reason why that chip hit me. What? Alright, come on. Come on. Alright, that's dumb. What? That's also dumb. Like, I dodged that. Why won't it register my dodges? See, that time it did. Alright, almost past the halfway point. Let's see if you can avoid this. Burn Lil Ape. Hmm. Well, you're almost down to the count. It's dinner time. I've had enough of you, Agent. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Darn it! Oh, 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 wait. He's stunned, he's stunned, he's stunned. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Heal, heal, heal. Nope. Ugh, that didn't work. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, alright. Then just wail on him. Wail on him. Wail on him. Did I do it? I think I did it. Oh. 
Just barely. Get me out of here. Whew. Case log updated. Oh, my head. Ugh, I'm going to need a shower after this. Zara, how did it go? Skip, rip jaws down. He's ready for extraction. That's good news. I was uh, worried for you. Helena has a cell ready for him. Well done. Hmm, what's this? Someone's diary? Most of it seems damaged. Maybe from our battle? I can only read some of the last, latest pages. Another failed attempt to get the medicalized while Dr. Sam Squatch was doing research out in the Actraverse. Unfortunately, the new security system that I had to love Paul's installed triggered the alarm and I had to leave before anyone came. Ah, this diary belongs to Suspect X. This is a big find. Ripjaw has definitely been working with Suspect X, and now I have evidence of it. If Suspect X was avoid Sam and thwarted by Ada, then neither of them is Suspect X. That's a relief. Without Ripjaw's leadership, the gangs will surely fall apart. Ra Raiden will definitely be harder. But are they really happy in a world like this? Barren land, fewer resources every day. There are many uninhabited Earths bountiful with fertile land and resources. We should offer reptarians a chance to move to one of those. I know rift regulations don't allow for that, but maybe that's something we can change. Hmm. Well done, Zara, which was. Zayter and Reptarian are over. Let's go say hi to him. That's how that has more. Worry not, laser. For I'll make sure no criminals. Guess I'm gonna say. Man, he's a big guy. If it isn't Agent Sinclair, do you enjoy seeing your enemies imprisoned and humiliated? I just came here to talk to you, but if it's going to be, but if it's going to be the tone of the conversation, well, now that, well, know that thanks to my request, reptarians will be free once again. What request, Ripjaw? I formally asked your director to re relocate reptarians to another Earth. They are uninhabited Earths with bountiful resources. Reptarians could live there. That doesn't sound unre unreasonable, but I'm not sure if the board of directors would approve of that. It goes against regulation number 89.6. If my people could live in a healthy world, my fight would be at an end. But as long as Rift refuses it, we will keep fighting. I mean, yeah, it's a valuable point. Like, I know if my people were in a resource-starved region and there was more than enough to give to us, but some bureaucracy was getting in the way, I'd probably become a warlord too. Now, I don't know what I get out of attacking my own people. That I don't understand, but. Oh well. Warlords typically don't have the brightest plans. Many of them are successful, but that doesn't mean they're the brightest. Alright, doesn't look like there's much anyone to talk to. Oh wait, never mind, there's a few people to talk to. Talk. Hi Zara, I'm glad you managed to arrest that big lizard Ripjaw. It wasn't easy, but now Reptaria should be a safer place. I can imagine, that Ripjaw dude had a catuited problem. He was kind of rude with his request. Ah, uh, he told me about it. He has to relocate Reptaria into an uninhabited earth, as Reptaria is a wasteland now. Which, to be honest, isn't a bad thing to ask, right? Must be horrible to live in that Reptaria place with no resources, no internet, no cats. I think it's clawful that the director denied the request, but don't tell anyone. I wasn't supposed to see that email in the first place. Ripjaw is a brute and a bully. I was hoping that we would do something to help out other Reptarians. Your progress has been outstanding so far, Sinclair. I'm proud of the good work Hollister and you are doing. Thanks, Commissioner. I know Dash Sterling and you were also a good team of ages back in the day, right? 
We did great for many years, yes. Like that time when the station core overheated and we had only 24 hours to find four different extra dimensional coolants before everything burnt to a crisp. Alright, cool, so that's gonna happen again and that's gonna be our thing. However, good things always don't last. Some 20 years ago, tragedy struck in Dash's family and he handed in his badge. Oh, I didn't know about that. Mind if I ask what happened? Alright, but please be discreet about this. Dash loved his son more than anything in all worlds. He would return to his homeworld as often as he could to spend time with him. Unfortunately, the, the boy was caught by the same sickness that had taken Dash's partner away from them. Medicine isn't very advanced in Dash's world, which is just a type Epsilon, so the boy passed away after a few months. Dash was devastated, of course. He took some time off, and when he was back, he has to be reassigned to another department. I'm sorry to hear this. I had no idea. Poor Dash. He's always so nice to me. He's always been a strong man, but as you can imagine, that's a pain he'll always carry with him. Thank you for trusting me with that story. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. So is this just going to end? Like, I wonder if the director is Suspect X. Like, she hates her own job. She hates the board of directors. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense. Dash could well he, we've already ruled him out as a suspect but he would have more reason like like what he, because we gave him the uh the code for healing goo so we have healing goo and he wasn't allowed to use it to save his son or his partner I, i'm starting to think that the whole that the moral of this of this game's story is that bio, uh, bureau bureaucracy oh my god i can't say that word anymore they're trying to silence me. Bureaucracies are bullshit. I was walking by and noticed you talking to Val earlier. Val? Valerie Weishart. I guess she's so formal now, everyone calls her by her last name, right? True. Sorry, I didn't realize. Let me guess. Talk about old times. Talk about old times? She's really fond of those days, and really misses going out on adventures. Did she tell you that one time when the HQ core overheated? That thing produces so much energy we had to bring coolant from four different frozen worlds. She did talk about that one, in just 24 hours, right? Yeah, she does talk a lot about when she was younger. I wish she was happier with the present. She misses being able to go out on missions. Val's great at whatever she does. She helped me through some rough times. I can see both of you are good friends, even if you no longer work as partners. Yes, you could say she's my best friend here in Rift, but we're always so busy we have little time to chat. I apologize, Zara. I'm just rambling at this point, and you're probably really busy too. So that's probably all there is to talk. So I guess in the next episode... We'll be heading, heading over to the Thunderdome. Alright, so. Until then. Stay safe. Have fun. And have a great day.